gotta be the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise I'm better than me too. Roll one, bitch, roll two. It's big, ready, and big, go. We we came from nothing, nigga. Yeah, we came from nothing. Washingtonia, I've been born and raised here. I really have been through everything you can name in the District of Columbia. I've been through damn near every hood in this city. They didn't know where DC should and go to. It's, <laughs> no it's, 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 it's there, it's it's there. there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying that that's real. No. But I'm right, getting chill. Be good. Where can they find you at, fool? Uh, uptown on Morton Street, six trucks. Right behind the black hole. Hey, the motherfucker should have said he'll find him right behind the black hole. Matter of fact, the dentist. You just find him right behind the dentist's office. It's a dental office now, but hey, you can um find me on Instagram at KingShook, two underscores, G S E underscore R G. And you can find me on Twitter at KingShook, G S E. I mean, young Frey G. This can't show GSC. I'm tripping. Explain <laughs> what that G. What we say? What's that GSC mean? That's our right? Goon Squad Entertainment. That's your label. Yeah, that's the label I started. Okay, yeah. and it's a uh, 1813. Your manager, yeah. right? Yeah. How long y'all been? How long you been your manager? About a few months. Well, about almost two months now. What made you pick him? Because I um I met I met him like uh a few months ago. Um, I came to this studio to do an interview with this uh, female blogger. Okay. And I met him, and then I started following. Then I started following his social media, and uh, and I just saw the way that he was maneuvering with a few other artists that I know of. Okay. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? And I just saw his work. And, and from, as a matter of fact, from that first conversation we had. When we was in the studio, you know what I'm saying? We it wasn't long but it was very meaningful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I just thought of all that. And then I text him one day and hit him like, Man, what's up, man? I need to holler at you and man, we talked and then both of our minds was on the same thing, so we made it happen. All right, all right, all right. I ain't no better like career vibe since you built with him. Yeah, but you no, know, it's like it feels like like, you know, since since I've been rapping, like um Nobody, when I mean nobody has done nothing, like I never, I only had a management when I was in the rap group when I first started, I was in the major boy shit, but that ain't, that ain't far through, but I never had a manager, I never had nobody put up on no CDs, no shirts, no nothing, no video shoots, no world star, all that stuff that I did was out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? And it just get overwhelming doing everything yourself. By yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm doing all of that and making the music. Tell me about it. And going out and just meeting people as though now that I got a management team, nigga, it took a whole lot of me. I don't just say you gotta hit him up, man. Yeah, you right. Look, man. <laughs> me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, hey, sure. I just like I'm messing with the 1813 music because I actually uh supported him one time when he came out with the DC shirts. Yeah. I actually pulled up right there off of North Capitol. I don't even know if you remember. I pulled up right there on North Capitol, came through, supported my man, bought him a shirt, bought his shirt. You know what I'm saying? I knew I supported his business. I know he was on his grind, so I already know he gonna put you in a place and position. You know what I'm saying to grow in this game. So. I was about to say, man. So I'm, I'm here. Can I that, say? Can I say one more thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but and, and, and the major reason why I got it because like, and and the DMV area rap game. Honestly, I don't feel like they respect me enough and respect my craft and respect okay. what I do. So 
2017. I'm gonna make them respect me if they don't fuck them. I'm glad you said that because I was just that's when I was asking you why, 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 why you say that in 2017? Because I keep hearing because that you're making big moves. Let us know what you got going on 20, in 2017. 2017 is gonna be a major year for me. It's like. I got a burden lift off me and I can make my music and do exactly what I want to do and I got somebody backing me like right. we're gonna we're gonna put my first album out on iTunes and we gonna sell that. Nah, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. We're gonna sell that. Get, get money. Gonna, get your Apple music. Get money. And we got a quick question for you, man. Yeah. Alright, so like if you feel like people don't respect you when it's rapping, how do you feel like your name is like still relevant? You know, because like, because even though even though they don't respect even though they don't wanna respect me, they, they still do. And they you still listen. <laughs> and, and even if they don't want to hear me like Slim, there's like so many people in this rap game in this DMV area that started off under me. They might don't speak on it, but they know what's up and I know what's up. So, and the people that meet me or the people that hear about me, they know what's up with me. And it ain't no game. I don't play with nobody. I feel like, you know, like a lot of people will like come up with they, they hear, oh, sure, gonna be there. So. But no, you feel that way. But but wait till you see a fly and put it. Hey, down, it's slim. Yeah, it's like it's honestly, cool. slim. My I love my neighborhood to death. I'm six forty, so I die. But don't they don't come to no shows, bro? Yeah. I do this shit on my own. Like yeah, I don't weird. even got I don't even got five or yeah. ten niggas that's from my block that I can say been to every show I had. You know how long I've been rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, I know how long you been oh. in the game, man. You nah, speaking like, law. Brick. I started rapping in 2011. Years. 2011. 12 years. You've been in the game in the game for a long time, man. So, like, and I, I don't let that stop me, nigga. That's more motivation, nigga. Because when you see me get to the top of me, you still be on that block, nigga. And fuck you. Fuck you, gonna say I got 10 million in the bank account. I'm still in the hood. Facts. 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 Real? Facts. 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 Do you like feel, uh, so, like, do you feel like your name's still relevant because, like, people just. So just people just have to respect you, like people fear you or something? I, I think, no, I think my name is still relevant because I'm a real nigga. And I don't just say that I'm a real nigga. When people meet me that never met me before, they be like, damn, Sam, you cool. Like, they meet a real nigga. I felt that way, you know, like, uh, my first time meeting you, whatever hottest you at, uh, the main in D.C. joint. Yeah. Whatever, and then everything was love. I told you yeah. about the show. Shout yeah. out to Fist and the Shout out to Yoshi events. Like yeah, yeah, shout out to Yoshi for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like with me, Slim, anybody I see that's trying to grind and trying to better themselves, well, I'm with that, bro. If you're a real person, and man, it's going to always be genuine with me. All right, I'm not yeah. looking for nothing back. You hear me? I do it because that's what I want to do. Exactly. And that's how I feel. See, so many people are caught up in with, I'm going to do this for them because I can you get this like, for them. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck exactly. that. You don't, know, what no, you don't know where this person going to be at in the next 10 years. You can do something for somebody that don't got shit. Yeah. You know, exactly. They're going to be on your downfall. And nigga, they can be way up and be like, damn, I remember when you looked out for me when I ain't had nothing. No. Facts. Facts. But people, people don't think though. like that because they so caught up in self, man. It's Facts. Like, it's just like, What's the problem is in this city, man? Everybody worried about they selves, man. Yeah. They niggas throw more about unity and Facts. bringing we niggas together. Unity, black, black Wall Street, and, man. And it's like everybody can eat, nigga. I feel like everybody come together now. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. You feel it that time. It do time. But it, time. it's got way better. Way better. It, 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 it wasn't like this last year. Nah, it got way better. It was like that. It was like that. It was like it was like this last year, we just got it 2017, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <my bad. laughs> I think it's the dog, but anyway. No, nah, I definitely nah, nah, didn't. I'm talking 2015, 2014. Oh, yeah, facts. Yeah. It was yeah. not, yeah, you're right. It was nothing well, like it's that. It's like, Slim, as men, Slim, like, as these guys saying that they are men and real niggas, you got to stand up and be a man. I Don't be behind the nigga nigga back making no bitch-ass moves. You got to, if you say you're a man, Slim, you got to be a fucking man. You can't be always screaming you're a real nigga. And you talking to bitches about a nigga or any of that bullshit right. you hating on the next man. Get this next move up in the rap game. Right. Cause you over top of him telling yeah. the next people, man, I don't right. fuck with him, man. I'm, they gonna listen to you because you are, they already got a relationship with you. Exactly. So now that they see if they try to build a relationship with somebody else and you telling them, nah, that nigga ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I see, so when, it, all right, so. You know what I'm saying? We got King Shug in the building right now. 320 Spurs, just now tuning in. He was just telling the people, you know what I'm saying, how his his position is played in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he does, what he do. And it's also, I'm hearing that you're an activist for the youth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 so explain I, I, how that happened. I love my kid. Hey, Slim, I grew up in this, like, soon. I started selling drugs at the age of 12. 
Like, I went to jail. I went to jail at the age of 13, Oak Damn. Hill. Slim. And I was down there with guys. Well, I was, I went January before. I was locked in the whole full month because I went in January before my 13th birthday. So actually, I was still 12. I couldn't go out on the yard with the guys, so I turned 13. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? And then when I did, it's like, these guys, 17 and 18, 18. years old. Yeah. I'm the youngest guy in here. Yeah. I was it's, like, it's like <laughs> I talk to these kids because I don't want them to go through what I like. Right, what I right, rap right. about right. Slim, right. it's, it's just I want you to learn from it. I don't want you to and, do it. And you know why you say that? Because I want to say it's on uh, what's the uh, what, what's the what's the third track? It's like uh, Bad Pictures in the Coop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's the line that you said. Don't run away from the plug Cause because you're going to be some up for yeah. consequences like, like, You know what I'm saying? But like, that's what, that shit ain't and I said that shit. in that song Because I was honestly thinking like Music is so influential yeah, To these people yeah, yeah, yeah. in it And you got, this, you got this main saying that like like social media is crazy. So you, yes, if you see this shit repeatedly, repeatedly, nigga in the streets are gonna take like don't get caught up in this, you will get yourself killed. So right. hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta have a discussion real quick. Cause that 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 that's a great point. Like, cause I sound like a triple too, cause Tripper says something like that as well as far as, you know, he don't wanna influence the kids by his music. He wanna influence them by what he say in interviews and things like that. But mm -hmm. Like and y'all know both of y'all, this family right here. So, I, but I just, I just, I just want to know how, how, how do you expect for them to be influenced by your interviews when your music is saying something different? Because I go out and I, I, I I'm in touch with the youth. I go okay. talk to them. I let them see exactly. the other side of me. Okay. They, they don't just know me as a rapper. They know me as Shook from Six Four. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they know like and they don't, and, and you know, they don't even I don't even go up to them and talk to them about no music. I don't give a fuck if they listen to my music or not. Facts. I'm worrying right. about them bettering themselves so they don't go through the same shit I went through. Right. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, so, that's, so that's why they fuck with me because I come to their basketball what, games. So what would you go ahead, go ahead talk to you. What's the feeling like? Huh? What's the feeling like? Man, I feel good when them youngers know me and man come up to me and ask me for advice and talk to me about their problems. Let me feel good because they they it look they look at me to as a point they're like damn slam I can listen to what he say he ain't gonna give me no bullshit right you know what I'm saying to other people they looking at it, like, damn I don't even want to talk to him I know he gonna say some bullshit exactly hey. you know what I'm saying exactly hey. social media has turned nobodies into thinking that they are somebody that's exactly they still nobody that's it excuse me and that's what y'all know what the crazy thing is though the whole time in their heads they know that they are they not know yes. that they are nobody yes. no for real though no. 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 that is crazy but the kids that's coming up now they don't go for them. I'm talking about these people that have been in their little games for a minute you know, right, yeah. They still know that before that social media, you ain't even know 20 people. Just yeah. All I'm going to say is, to piggyback on what Bruss said, straight like that, man, listen, dude, I, like, it's a catch-22, because for real, for real, people with a follower can real life bring people out. But the majority, that, that real life, like, fake celebrities, y'all, like, we got a lot of fake celebrities in the DMV. Man. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like... I'm saying fake celebrities. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm saying fake celebrities, because that's how they curl so I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I'm gonna keep it one hundred for like, a feature. Hit me up. I'm keeping it low and keeping it real. Three hundred, you got all that big go. I ain't got no celebrity. I don't need it, but I'm doing it because this what I love to do. And if I can help a nigga get some exposure, you have to pay for it. Invest in yourself. Yeah, that's all that is. Yeah. 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 That's all that is. That's all that is. Invest in yourself. Hey, so I was about to say, not only, it's like King Shook speaking facts on, you know what I'm saying, on this here 320 experience because okay. it's like, he not only raps, but he's into that acting, you know what I'm saying, yeah. acting path. Right. Explain how you touched up on, like, what made you start that? Uh, well, I actually you know, well, a lot of people don't know, well, when I was uh 14, my my friend Frank, his mother brought him the BS camera record joint. Okay. And around our way, we shot a whole movie at the age of 14, man. Damn. And you know what I'm saying? I was the main character in the movie, but 
Not, well, I was in Oak Hill after that. My friends was working for Alonso Concerned Men. Okay. And they gave out fucking tape to this old ass nigga they was working for. Right. And then he say he don't know what he did with. Start the sauce. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was mad he said when I came yeah. home. Yeah. But. Yeah. It was like my Blue Street shit. Yeah, but back, you know, uh, I really like acting. Like, I love movies, man. Okay. I take. One it, question. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Go ahead. Hey, bro, go ahead. <laughs> he got some suit on, so we see. Hey, 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 you know, you know, I got one question. Right, for right. Hey, Shug, I got like went through almost this. Well, basically the same struggle you done went through. You know what I'm saying? Living in, you know what I'm saying? Fucked up environment, but trying to change our youth because they looking up to us as old heads. You know what I'm saying? And we still be out here. We still supporting everything, but like. This could be you. I mean, this this definitely this gonna be you. you. This ain't definitely. no could be. This definitely going to be you. Definitely. One day you gonna be you. But sure, man. Like I got some youngers that I was when I was just around my way around on the south side. When I was just around my way, I told all them youngers to tune in. So I told them, you know what I'm saying? Facts, just, facts. just to let you know, you know what I'm saying? Some real live stuff. You know what I'm saying? They they messing with you on the south side. The youngers messing with you. So like they listening right now. So real live, tell them. You know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, they, they, bro, they look up to you, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they, they, they still I'm, rapping, they still I, I, rapping. I'm going to tell y'all like this, and I, I ain't using no cut cars, no cut. Exactly, this would be now, now. yourself. Exactly. Like, like, ever since I, I never, I never, ever, I always been a leader, nigga, since I was in kindergarten. Nigga. Now we talk. I ain't, boss. Kindergarten. I ain't boss. never. None of that, nigga. Eric, nigga, if you if you want to be a boss, go be a boss. Exactly. But do it in your own way. Don't follow the next because the next man made it in them footsteps. Don't mean you gonna make it the same, bro. Exactly. You gotta be your goddamn self. Hey, everybody, time. Y'all listening to this, right? I, I don't care. Like I don't care how they look at my music or who 